All right, so in a lot of my videos, I'm telling you guys things to do uh, to make your painting go better. But in this video, I thought maybe it'd be kind of fun to talk about some of the things not to do. Um, and they're basically bad habits that painters do. Um, and maybe you guys can comment on some of these things. Put some of the bad habits you've seen people do down in the comments in the video. And let's talk about um, things not to do as a painter. So I'm going to start out this video with do not leave your ladder without your paint bucket. Never leave your ladder, your paint bucket sitting on the ladder because that is destined for falling off of there, especially on a six or eight foot ladder. Do not get paint on your brush handle. Um, because if you get paint on your brush handle, you get paint on your hands, you get paint on the door handles of your customer's house, and you end up with paint everywhere. So if you keep your brush handle clean, you will keep a nice, neat paint job. When you're spraying, do not put too much water in your paint. If you put too much water in your paint, what happens is you end up with a lot more overspray. It breaks down the material and makes the material not last as long. So if you're putting two gallons of water into a gallon of paint, a five gallon of paint, do not do that. Do not stack your buckets when there's wet paint on them because you'll never get them back apart. Don't even bother buying foam Slim Jim rollers. They are just completely useless. Do not use a spray pole unless there is no other way to reach the area. Spray poles create more overspray and a lot more cleanup and you have to cover up a lot more. So you're just wasting labor if you're using them. Do not use Durham's Rock Hard Putty without letting it dry completely and priming it after you use it. Paint doesn't like to stick to it unless it's sanded and primed. Do not use caulking as a filler for your drywall. Remember, Crawford's Spackling Paste is your number one choice. Not the Crawford's Putty. Crawford's Spackling Paste is your number one choice for small holes in drywall. There it is. I was looking for this forever. I don't know what it's doing in this truck. Okay, so it's Crawford's Vinyl Spackling Paste, not Crawford's Putty. This is the best stuff for filling small holes in drywall. Sand, you don't even need to sand it. You can just wipe it with your hand. Works really good. Remember, use flat tips, not reverse the tips unless there is no other option or you're using a double orifice tip and just spraying cabinets. If you use reverse the tips, you get more overspray than you do with these. Remember, flat tips, guys. Do not use oil base unless... For some special reason, you have to in California. And in some of the other states, the oil base, oil base is still pretty good. Um, but I did talk to the guys in Iowa, and they are changing regulations nationwide, little by little, and it'll start to get bad everywhere. So keep that in mind. Um, watch the oil base in California. It is garbage. Do not spray enamel without doing a lot of covering. Enamel gets twice as much. Water-based enamel, that is, gets twice as much overspray as flat paint. So make sure you cover up really good when you're spraying enamel. This is my opinion, my opinion only. In opinion only I do not ask Sherwin-Williams. I usually stay away from it. But some places, that's all you got. Do not put water base over oil without sanding and or using a product like this one. This is an alkyd emulsion. Uh, this is a water base that turns to oil when it dries, and it actually adheres to oil base. Most products don't. Make sure you know what you're doing before you go over oil base. Make sure it's sanded and primed before you put the material on. Do not set your extension ladder in dirt without kicking these into the ground. Do not set your ladder in dirt or on an unstable surface on just your ladder shoes unless you want to find yourself face planted to the ground or dead. Do not stand on the top of your ladder. It's not worth your life. 
Do not set your ladder on an unlevel surface. So if your surface is like this, without using a ladder like this one, where you can pull a pin out and extend this leg so it's uneven with that one to match your footing, whatever you've got. And uh, if you're gonna do that, make sure you have somebody stand on that bottom rung. It will help you uh, stabilize the ladder. Painters, don't let me hear you guys drinking and driving. I have no idea, but a lot of painters like to drink, so don't do it. Do not use spackle on wood exterior unless you want it to fall right off. This is a great product for wood exterior. It moves a lot. It actually works better than I think Bondo. You're not going to get the same finish, huge smoothness or whatever as you do with Bondo, but this adheres and as the wood shrinks and moves, it will actually stay on the surface. It's a good, good product or caulking, basically the same thing. One of my sayings is I don't use 18 inch rollers. They waste my time. I'll talk to you guys about that in another video. But, of course, your opinion on some of these things would be great. Uh, make sure you comment on the video. We'd like to hear what you have to say and what not to do. Um, you know, it's been a long since, time since I've not done these things. So it's hard for me to remember all the things what not to do because I haven't done them in so long. It's uh, basically uh, out of my head. So... Anyway, if you want to comment below on the things what not to do, uh, it might help some of the other painters not make the same mistakes you've done. Um, and uh, talk to you in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you like those other comments that you agree with as well.